Hey guys, Robbie here at RV Sales Oregon. Today I get to show you one of my favorite coaches. This is a 2000 Beaver Patriot Thunder. It's got a Caterpillar C12 in the back. It's a four, uh, 425 horsepower motor as it sits right now, uh, paired with an Allison 3000 transmission. That's a six speed transmission. Um, can ask for a lot better than that too as a combo. Um, I'll just I'll do a quick walk around on this thing and really um, if you know beaver coaches the insides where these things shine I mean it's a beautiful coach on the outside but nobody builds them like beaver did um, nice windows throughout here nice big power awning um, it does have the wind sensor on it so if the wind picks up um, it'll it'll send itself back in not get busted um, this is your water heater here it's a hurricane system um, if you're familiar with aqua it's same type of system um, it's a diesel fire propane. Um, water heater so you will not run out of hot water with these things you'll also get ambient heating on the floor um, as well as another way to heat your coach on top of your regular furnace um, we have our joey bed here this will come out about 60 uh, percent of the way i can't do it all the way because of this here but that does pass through to the end more basement more basement more basement there's your big one in there, um, power transfer switches with that gray box is, but you have the all enclosed uh, frame in there, so you can't really get any rust on the frame when it's in there, um, all nice and enclosed. Uh, that box there you'll see on the corner is a 2000 watt inverter to power things while you're going down the road without needing to run a generator. On a coach like this, it's kind of a must. Um, this is just access to, um, I believe, holding tanks, things like that, so not very exciting to look at, but that's what that is. Um, that's just an exhaust for your washer dryer. Here's going to be, I believe, just your batteries in here. Yep, batteries. These have recently been replaced. We test them all too and make sure that they're good before they leave the shop here, but those are new. And then there is just a, kind of a service center for you. So I'll just show you if you're working back here on the motor, you're not running inside to check all your gauges, things like that. You can check oil, um, water temperature, your radiator temperature, air filters, um, all that good stuff. So. Um, super duper handy you can get to your water fuel separator your um, your fuel filter oil filter and I believe one of these two is for hydraulic so um, forgive me I'm not sure what's what but there's that moving on to the back that's a tractor motor right there that thing will get you going wherever you want to go I don't know what the top speed is but you could sure find out Okay, enough of that. Perfect. Um, 10,000 pounds at the hitch there. You can tow a, a Hummer filled with lead if you wanted to, um, but that'll get you down the road, get you where you want to go. And these things are just, they're insulated so well on these Beaver coaches, as big as that motor is, as loud as it may look like it's going to be when you're driving down the road, unless you're right behind it, you don't hear it. It's, it's a quiet, quiet ride um, with that air suspension system it has too. It's a smooth ride, doesn't get pushed around on the road, all that good stuff. Um, I'll just keep unlocking stuff for you i'll tell you what it is in the meantime this is just your uh, power reel awning or power, power reel power cord that i can't seem to unlock so you'll just have to take my word for it but that'll come in just on a button and go out on just a button you don't have to reel it all up um, as i said there's window awnings on all this stuff fiberglass caps on all your slides um, 22 and a half inch uh, aluminum alloy wheels there they're gonna last forever and ever tires are new on this puppy they've only been since we got it, yeah, we brought it in here. They were put on brand new before we picked it up. So there's some new tires for you. Here we just have our, our wash bay system. Um, these are super handy. It's normally not what you're looking for when you buy a coach. It's not something that you buy a coach for, but super duper handy where you can stop every single valve hot and cold throughout the rig. So let's say you're out in the middle of the woods or you're in the middle of a trip and you have a leak at your sink and uh, you don't want to shut everything off just because there's a leak at your sink you can come out here and switch that valve off and continue to use everything else like that wasn't happening and then uh, fix it whenever you have a chance but that'll keep you going down the road super duper handy again one of those things people don't think to look for um, but when you're the one that owns this coach and something comes up that'll be your best friend um, city water hookup sanding flush the sanding flush is just going to clean your tank out when you're done dumping it um, and then just the other side of our pass-through storage here um, basement doors come out with the slide there as you can see makes it nice and easy to get to and then this looks funny when the slides up this is just the, the door for your LP your propane so it looks like nothing but there's a propane tank in there it's a big one I think it's a 37 or 40 gallon tank okay 
enough of the outside as beautiful as it is let's go check out this beauty on the inside um, I was the fuel tanks are you can fill on both sides you got necks on both sides of the rig so there's no wrong way to pull in shoot I did it again hang with me this time taking this long I got some I got some keys somewhere there it is so as you can see I don't have this kid this coach stage I just want you to see how beautiful it is all natural um, as you walk in nice stairwell there this guy does slide out so when you're traveling you're not busting an ankle getting out of the passenger seat but I'll have to admit my biases like I always do on beaver coaches I think they're the best made and and that's my mind and it's made up so um, but I'll admit that before I show it to you um, really nice just gauge system here the way it looks simple enough but it's it's you're always going to get true reading out of these things um, and it gives you everything you need to know you have your trans temp water temp exhaust gas temp oil uh, battery voltage and your psi for your air suspension and your brakes um, allison 3000 six-speed transmission there you have a jake brake that's uh, two-stage you have the full jake where it'll it'll choke it the whole way um not choke it, that's the wrong word but full jake on all six cylinders or you have the half brake so you're only doing uh, three of the six um doo -doo 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 -doo. good stuff a couple different spots to start your generator from one here one down in the middle of the coach and then one down below at the generator itself that slides right out from the front of this unit no pardon me this is a side generator so no it doesn't um the nice oak um, all the way around it's kind of got that nice shine to it makes it super easy to keep clean and and again I you got to kind of got to see these in person to, to realize how well constructed they are but Beaver started as a cabinet company and then started making houses for um, different coaches and then made their own and um, since they went out of business um, when they did bought out by Monaco I haven't seen coaches built the same since unless you're buying a, a marathon coach or a prevo and spending a million dollars they just don't make them like that anymore but um i will say in uh late 90s going into early 2000s you took that risk of running some running into some weird colors man you had some mauve blues and and reds and greens and stuff but this one was uh, ahead of its time for styling it, it's just nice neutral colors in here uh pairs well with the oak kind of nice beige on the floor here uh really nice looking tile this is real tile going all the way through into the bedroom um, in the bedroom you have a little bit of carpet there keep your feet warm um as i mentioned you have the diesel fire furnace so you're going to get radiant heat floors in here you're going to feel that more than anything on the tile um, on a day like today where it's freezing cold um, you'd be barefoot out here and it's gonna it's gonna warm you from your feet up um, on top of that you do have propane furnace and you also have heat pumps on the roof so you got a few different ways to heat yourself keep yourself warm no matter how you're traveling um, corgi inside counters all the way around every piece of wood in here that you'll find to, that's put together is dovetailed together um, beaver did such a good job and they had so much pride in their manufacturing i like to show this off and first just look see the construction how it's dovetailed wedged in there and glued it's not it's not stapled together and just made hastily i mean these things are solid i mean that's the bottom of a cabinet door and they're just they're made really well um, but they had enough pride to tell you um, which employee made it which drawer of the unit it is and the style of it so it, it shows it shows there's a reason why there's so many of these still on the road and why beaver has the following that it does um but yeah good storage throughout here nice and deep that goes all the way into the wall there um another nice thing about this layout in my opinion it's a two slide unit um but they're shallow slides it's only about 18 inches so when this thing comes in it doesn't even go all the way up to this wall so even going down the road you have a very usable living space um even enough room for this couch to come out and make into the bed if you wanted to travel with the bed out that is a pull-out bed if you could not tell so that's a queen size bed there you do have the upgraded wood on your uh two or four door fridge here it's a two-way fridge it's propane and electric it's a nice big fridge there ice maker on this side and just more freezer on this side you got a fantastic fan right in here right in the kitchen and then you have another in the bathroom here nice to keep it ventilated i believe this is a two burner let me double check two burner propane stove made by gagano i'm sure that's exactly how you pronounce it 
And then a cool setup in the bathroom, you kind of have this, um, I never know what they call them, like a makeup station over here, something like that. But um, I like the layout, it works for me. I'm not using all of it, I'm using this and, and the sink. But really good size shower, I mean a big size shower. Well, I'm not a huge guy, but I'm, I'm fairly tall, I'm about 6'3 with my boots on. And I can get in here, get my arms up, good shower head height on there. And plenty of room to move around, lift your leg up or whatever you're doing in here. mode takes up all the space it needs to you have a separate sink in there outlets porcelain toilet tiles run throughout and yes that heated floor does go into the commode there so even when you're sitting on the porcelain your feet seat will stay warm um, moving back into the bedroom we do have our washer dryer combo here it's a splendid 2000 so it's going to be throw your clothes in they'll wash they'll dry you take them out yeehaw clean undies um, another thing I love on these beaver coaches is your closets are going to have a western red cedar in them that's going to keep the bugs out. Also, it just looks nice. You can't even buy that stuff anymore at anything close to a reasonable price. Um, and then you have the walk around queen size bed in here um, with good storage, nice little TV here, um, and great closet storage in the back. More of that western red cedar, just pride and craftsmanship. That's, that's the best thing about these coaches in my mind is the, how well they are made. It'll last forever. They don't rattle going down the road. They're, they're my favorite, but you already know that. Um, more storage in here, more western red cedar in there. Small little, I don't even know what you're using this for. Um, one sock next to itself. That's what you're using it for. I don't know. I don't know, but it sure is cute. And then more storage here and here. Um, you have plugs on either side of the bed there. You have access to um, reading lights. You can turn your generator on from back here. Um, all that good stuff you can do from bed. Um, gosh, I'm sure I'm forgetting stuff. I'm, yeah, I'm just going to say that I am. I'm forgetting stuff. Um, if I didn't say it already, it's an Onan diesel generator. Um, I believe it's an 8,000 watt diesel generator. Um, you got your hurricane system in here as a water heater. You will not run out of hot water. Um, I don't think it's something you can tell in the video, but even walking into these, you can just, it feels quiet in them, even when you're not moving, just talking in here. There's no resonance in the walls, and that's just, it shows you the good insulation, good construction of these things. Um, basements are heated, your tanks are heated. Um, I mean, you're, you're rolling in style. Um, if, if you need a feature list, please reach out to me. I know these coaches front and back. I just don't want to make the video all about specs. It's all about kind of seeing the coach in these videos and I can always give you the info as you need it. So, um, yeah, we just got this one in. So, you know, I'm, I'm hoping this goes to, goes to a good home because I sure like these coaches and they, and they make great long-term coaches for people where you can use this thing forever and ever. Um, it's it's one that I would it has my seal of approval that's for sure these these are awesome coaches and uh, I'll just leave it at that so it's a 2000 Beaver Patriot Thunder with the Caterpillar C12 on it in it it's got I think 75,000 miles or so um, we have it priced right uh, we definitely have it priced right so if you're interested let me know they're not making them like this anymore so there's fewer and fewer of them on the road so grab one while you can um, I'll leave it at that. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. I look forward to answering any questions you have. My phone number and email should be popping up on the screen somewhere sometime after I finally stop talking to you. So hope you guys have a great day and hope to hear from you all soon.